For scientists, it's an ages-old mystery. Our origins. Now, a new NASA mission in the search for answers. The target, the near-Earth asteroid Bennu. Asteroids are the building blocks of our solar system. So we want to understand how the solar system formed, what the materials are, and how we can better understand life on Earth, how it formed and created, and where we're going. Just after Labor Day, an Atlas V rocket will send the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft on a two-year journey toward Bennu. It's a first for the United States, collecting and returning to Earth an asteroid sample. You know, essentially, it's a time capsule that's four and a half billion years old. And from that, we hope to be able to obtain information about our own solar system, or about our own planet and other planets to see if there are similarities so that we can better understand how things were put together. In 2018, the Cyrus Rex will begin a detailed survey of Bennu, mapping out potential sample collection sites. A year or so later, using an 11-foot arm, it'll make contact with it, collecting up to four and a half pounds of rocks and soil. It requires precision. OSIRIS-REx is the size of an SUV. Bennu is far taller. It's taller than some of the world's landmarks and wider. The asteroid itself is of a type that is unusual, and we don't really know what it's made out of, whether it's got a lot of carbon, maybe it's got a lot of water-bearing minerals. I think those would be really exciting things to find. OSIRIS-REx is part of NASA's New Frontiers program. Other missions are exploring Pluto and Jupiter. If you look at them collectively, we're increasing our fundamental knowledge of where we live. You know, the Earth we live on, the solar system we live in, and the universe at large. The Cyrus Rex is a really exciting mission. Osiris Rex returns after its seven-year journey in 2023, giving scientists a window into the earliest days. Late in the 22nd century, the asteroid itself could come dangerously close to Earth. Alex Sands, The Associated Press, Huntsville, Alabama.